you love neutrals, this video is for you. <laughs> Hi YouTube! Today I'm doing a fall loungewear haul featuring a whole ton of items from Garage. I'm going to be doing a little review of the items and try them on for you, give you some dupes for the very expensive Joa Brown label. I just wanted to note that I am not feeling so great today and also the weather has been pretty shitty recently so excuse me if I'm not my usual cheerful self. I hope you still enjoy my haul and review. I have a few different loungewear sets that I'm really excited to try on then a few one-off tops that I think will elevate my fall wardrobe. At the end, I will give my top list of items that I like and are probably going to keep. Also wanted to mention, of course, this video is not sponsored. I purchased all these items with my own money and I am not in contact with the company. They don't know I'm making this video, etc. Let's go. Alright, so here's the first set. Hopefully you can get a full body look at it. I have the ribbed sweater tank and the ribbed flare bottoms. Um, so these are super comfortable, super soft. The bottoms were $39.95, the top was $19.95, and I absolutely love how this feels. I got a size small in both, but I honestly could have sized down since this is a bit loose. But yeah, I really like this set. Um, great little neutral outfit for lounging at home. Um, yeah, not much to say. I love it. <laughs> I also got the matching shorts to go with this as well. And they were on sale for $10.50, so I'll try those on next. Here are the shorts. Again, I could have sized down in these since they are a little bit baggy. Um, let me know what you guys think. Super comfortable, very lightweight. Alright, I'm super excited for this matching three-piece set. I have the Sunday ribbed cardigan, Sunday ribbed pants. These are straight leg pants. And then the same ribbed sweater tank, same style as the other color. These are all in armadillo brown size small. Similar feel and texture to the previous set. I think this brown is super on trend. I like this cardigan. It has a single button, so it's super simple. The pants are also $39.95, top is $19.95, and then the cardigan is $29.95. So the cardigan isn't as ribbed, it's just ribbed on the trim. This is a super cute set as well. So yeah, these say they're straight leg, but they definitely have more of a flare shape as you can tell. The length is actually pretty good on me. It's a tad bit long, but I am 5'3", so that's always an issue for me. Surprisingly, the other pants did work at the right length. Again, for the pants, I think I would probably size down since they're quite stretchy and they might stretch out even more over time. So I think I will exchange these for an extra small. I decide to keep them. But yeah, overall, really love this set as well. It's um, a little bit more pricey if you add in the cardigan. However, I still think it's a great affordable option and the quality seems quite good considering the price. Alright, so I'm super excited for this set. I have the Tessa tennis skirt and the Aurora cropped sweatshirt to try on. This is one of the combos that I saw on the website that looked really good together. Um, I have mixed opinions about this one. The sweatshirt isn't super flattering on me. It's quite oversized. Um, I do like the Portland embroidered text, but yeah, not sure 
if I'm a fan of this one. Doesn't really do much to flatter my shape. However, the tennis skirt I am quite impressed by. There are a lot of brands doing tennis skirts right now, and this one seems really good. It has the built-in shorts, unfortunately no pockets, but these are super comfortable, stretchy spandex material. And then the skirt on top is a bit of a crinkly athletic material, almost like a windbreaker fabric. I think this is a good skirt. It's a little bit pricey. It is $39.95 and then the sweatshirt is $29.95. So pricing is a little bit high for this set in my opinion. However, I think if you want to jump on that tennis skirt trend, this is a great option for you. And I haven't really seen anyone do this shade of color either. So for the next set, I thought I had ordered the matching top to go with this one, but apparently I did not. These are the sleep ribbed knit pants, and these are actually the best fitting of all the flared pants that I've tried so far, and I like that it has a slit at the bottom. So I might be keeping these. These are also a little bit cheaper, they're $29.95. However, I can feel that the fabric isn't quite as good quality and it's definitely still big in the waist. The ribbing is not as detailed as the others, if that makes sense. To pair with it, I got this mini tube top. This was on sale for $7, very similar to the Joa Brown tube top. I will insert a picture here. And this is super affordable, so if you're looking for great little basics, I think Garage does a great job of affordable basics. I am a fan of the pants. I think these are the closest to what I was looking for. They are still a little bit long since I am 5'3", however I think it's doable if I'm just lounging at home. So yeah, super cute. Loving all the neutral colors for fall. Alright, so the next few pieces are all tops, and then I believe I have a bikini to try on at the very end. So yeah, I'm going to be pairing the tops with these Ritzia pants that I absolutely love. If you remember the style name, I will paste them down below. So these are the Sunday Best Jaden pants. I'm just going to be wearing these throughout the rest of the video since most of the items I have left are tops. And then I have this cropped muscle tank. This was also on sale for $7 I believe. This is very similar to the Joa Brown cropped muscle tee in my opinion. It's also very similar to that Reformation crew neck t-shirt that I got in my last haul. If you haven't seen that already, it will be linked there. The color in for Reformation was called clay, and this is called goat milk or something. <laughs> so yeah, good option if you're looking for a cheaper version of that tank and a lot more affordable as well. This is just um, cotton material and it's raw hem, so you got those curled edges. Yeah, super easy, super basic. So this is also very similar to a Joa Brown t-shirt with a slashed neck. Overall, I would say this isn't the best quality, but it is passable. I mean, it doesn't feel too much different from that Reformation t-shirt that I got. It might be slightly lower quality. I can feel the thread count a little bit more, but this is a great affordable option. This was on sale for $10, I believe. Not my favorite style on myself, but a good option if you're looking for this kind of style. Alright, I was super excited for this one and it did not disappoint. This is the Flagway Cardi. I love the two-tone neutrals. Come on, yes, love it. So the back is the darker brown as well. Um, so just this portion is the light brown neutral beige. I actually got this in an extra small because that's all that was left. This was $29.95 I believe. Super popular and I can understand why. I absolutely love the fit of this. I will probably keep it. So yeah, let me 
let me know what you think. All right, so this is the Shark Bite sweater. I believe this was $29.95. This is giving me major Rick Owens vibes. I really love this. It is a rib knit top and it has a little bit of a tapering here that's super flattering. Love the fit. This is a size small. Yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this one and will be keeping this for sure. I think this sweater is proof that you don't have to spend a lot of money to look really good and really classy. Alright, this is my first item with a different color than neutral. <laughs> it's the Kylie Contrast Scene Stitch Top. Yeah, super on trend for the contrast stitching. I really like the fit of it as well. This is a size small. And I think this color is super on trend right now as well. Neon green seems like it's going to be the one to watch. And I like that this is a little bit more muted and wearable. And tell me this is not the perfect skating outfit. I mean, come on. 90s vibes. I really like this one. Probably going to keep this one as well. Alright, this is the same top in brown if you weren't sick of it already. I do like this one as well, I just think I prefer the green one. But this is a great basic and also has that lovely contrast stitch detailing. It is $24.95 I believe, so pretty affordable in my opinion. And doesn't seem like the stitch details are that terrible, so I think it would last for a quick amount of time. I've had tops from Garage before and they've all lasted me years actually, so I'd say the quality is on par with Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville, and I just love how these are super on trend for the moment. Alright, so this is actually a bikini top. It's called the Bali Bralette Bikini Top, I believe. Um, it was on sale for $14 and also quite similar to a Joa Brown piece. I will insert a picture here. It has the notched detailing, ribbed tank look. This is honestly my favorite style of bikini tops because it's super secure but also looks really cute. I like that it has removable cup pads and the cup pads make it very opaque so it's very good for not showing any nips while you're swimming. And I think it actually works really well as a tank top, crop top as well and looks really great with these pants. And lastly, I could not help myself, I got a bikini set. This is the chain triangle bikini top and then my tiny bikini bottom. I honestly feel like I could have maybe sized down in the bottoms. They're a little bit loose in the sides and the bottoms. Maybe I'm not wearing them high waisted enough, but yeah. This is not my favorite piece. The quality is a little bit lower than I would have expected. However, it was very affordable, so it's understandable. The top was on sale for $14, the bottoms were on sale for $10, I believe. And yeah. Super cute chain detailing on both, which I appreciate and it's super affordable so I've been dreaming in a neutral tone bikini to wear and this is pretty close. I right, decided I would close out the video by wearing my favorite pieces, the shark bite sweater as well as the sleek flare pants and also wanted to mention that I really enjoyed the Kylie contrast scene crop top and Bali tank bikini top. I think those will be very versatile in my wardrobe. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you to all the new viewers. I have really had an amazing amount of growth in the last 28 days. I think my subscriber count went up 250 subscribers since then, so thank you all for watching. Let me know down below what other brands you want me to try and hopefully I can get that in for you. Make sure to check out my Depop and Poshmark, both will 
be linked in the description and all the clothing that I mentioned in this video should also be linked below if it's not sold out. Alright, thank you all again. Hope you all have a lovely day and bye!